Hey, what's up guys? See boys Pilot 2K7 and we are back for a brand new American Truck Simulator video and today we're going to be using our brand new truck guys. So if you guys have been following our Grand Theft Auto 5 series where we started our trucking company Ace Trucking and Logistics, you guys can see we now have our trucking company in American Truck Simulator as well with this amazing skin by Skinworks. So take a look at that guys. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. And now it really feels like we're running our own company here in American Truck Simulator. So this is going to be our first of many new trucks. I decided to get a new trailer as well. I picked up this trailer in the uh, um, Steam Workshop. And I'll leave like the name of it and everything down below in the video description. So we have this new Step Deck trailer. And we should be able to pick up new loads. So actually the first load that we're going to be picking up is going to be three skids skid steers and dropping them off so we're currently in where are we at right now i'm not even sure where we're at we're in yakima and i probably said that wrong yakima and we are picking up i think we're picking up right over here somewhere so let's go ahead and get our day started guys like i said i really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you guys want to see some more american truck simulator definitely let me know by leaving a comment and also make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe if you are new and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we post a new video so let's go ahead and get our trucks started up here all right let's go ahead and hop inside so this is one of the um default trucks in game the uh peterbilt 389 the default one and uh, let me just get situated in my chair. We are using Track IR as well. If you guys want to check it out, I do have a link to it down below in the video description. But a very cool um, add-on that pretty much lets you like put like this clip on your hat, and you're able to like as you look around in real life, it looks around in the game, and it's really helpful. I do like it. So definitely recommend if you guys want to get a little bit more out of the game and make it feel like you're really in the truck. Definitely is nice and it's useful for other games too. I want to try it in Flight Simulator actually. And speaking of Flight Simulator, I can't wait for the new Microsoft Flight Simulator to come out. That is going to be crazy. That's going to be like me returning to my roots because for those of you who don't know, the reason why my name is Ace Pilot 2K7 is because I actually first started this YouTube channel in 2007, 2K7, and then um, I was doing a, a Microsoft Flight Simulator, guys. So I actually started with my Microsoft Flight Simulator. I was playing 2004 at the time, and then eventually Microsoft Flight Simulator X came out, and I got that, and I was just really into aviation. And I even have a lot of videos of, of that, too. But um, with Microsoft, the new one coming out, I forgot the name. I think they call it Microsoft or Flight Simulator 20 or 2020. But yeah, I'm excited to like, you know, return to my roots in a way. Now, of course, I'm still going to be doing Grand Theft Auto. I'm still going to be doing all the other games I play. But, you know, it'll just be a, a game that will throw in from time to time. So it looks like our GPS got reset. Let me see something really quickly. Oops, wrong place. We're going to go to the cargo market and we should be picking up these K70 XT skid steer loaders from Yakima, Yakima to Kennewick. And I'm sure I said that wrong too. <laughs> Ready to roll. All right, here we go. So this is also the first time I'm using this trailer too. I kind of have to get used to it. It's kind of weird like pulling a trailer and not seeing like the top of it in the sense that I'm Go used straight. to pulling like regular trailers like um, your regular like I guess I don't even know what to call it but your regular trailer you know you know you guys know what I'm talking about but it just feels weird to be hauling something low like this because it's like when you it almost looks like we're not hauling anything it's so weird I guess I just gotta like get used to it and stuff like that but so far so good. This is going to be our first load that we are doing with this. It. actually going to be a kind of a short load. So depending on how short it is, we may do another load. I did see another load for picking up a uh, a backhoe. So we may do that as well. We'll see what happens. Oh, just grinding away there. Oh, wait. What the? No wonder I was grinding. Wait a minute. Hold up. 
I gotta get myself a reset. That was really weird. Okay, I have no idea what I did. I think I started off in like, I don't know, because it didn't feel like I was in the wrong gear when I started, but I have no idea what I did. Don't kill me in the comments section. <laughs> Go straight. All right, we're gonna be making. Looks like the next right. We're gonna be picking up here. Stay right, and then turn right. Turn right. Make sure we swing this out enough so we don't hit. Watch that turn rear end left. come around. Okay, so we are here. I think they want me to go over there, right? But do I back in over there or do I drive forward over there? I can't really see too well. I'm gonna try to just drive in there. Oh, there's probably not enough space. I should probably just back in there. I don't know, let's just take the risk. Forgot to turn on my running lights, oops. Okay, so we are here. Looks like this is an equipment Finally, place. We are here. Let's see where they want us to load this up at. Oh, you guys kind of saw the other loads there. There was a front loader and then also a um, back home. All right, so yeah, I should have backed in here, but it's okay, because I could, I do have enough space to spin around. I'm just gonna pull forward. And I'm just gonna try to just back it on up into this corner. Just gotta make sure I don't hit the walls here or anything. We should be okay. Now, normally I would do this in first person, but I'm a little bit rusty since I haven't played the game in so long. But by the time we do the delivery, the drop off, I should be good to go. I'm just really busting these airlines right now. <laughs> they seem to be okay though. but it's giving it to us, so we're gonna take it. All right, let them load this thing up, and we are ready to go. All right, guys, so we have our load ready. Let's make sure everything looks secured. Looks like they even went ahead and choked all the wheels, which is good, and they chained everything down. Only bad thing though, it looks like they only chained it in the front though. They should have put some chains on the rear of these things. But um yeah, let's go ahead and get going. So let's fire up the Time truck. To hit the road. We'll turn on our lights. 
We do have beacons on this truck, but we honestly really don't need them for this type of load. And let's get going, guys. Oh, pfft. hold on one second. I forgot to put my hat back on. <laughs> I took a quick break for a second in real life as well as while they were loading. And we were ready to go. So I got my hat back on, which has the track IR. And should, oh, we were rolling this whole time. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to back up. Alright, now we are ready to go. Let's get our map up. Oh, this is a really short haul, only 76 miles. Making $6,000. And we're hauling 16,000 pounds of skid steers. Okay. Get ready to turn right. You know, one thing I always forget to do when I'm backing up is always turn to right. put on my four way flashers. I'm sure somebody left a comment. I did forget to do that. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Stay right. Okay, so we're going to be jumping on to Interstate 82, heading eastbound. It looks so beautiful out here. I really enjoy driving around like Washington and Oregon in this game. Especially since like I always say I've never been here in real life, so it's so nice to see all of these places. Oh 
also added a couple other mods too, like um, realistic companies and trailers. So you guys should see some some more um, real company. Well, like it says, more companies and trailers, which is pretty cool. Make it a little bit more of a realistic experience. Got a way station coming up. Hope we don't have to stop. Maybe they're closed. Okay, perfect. We could bypass the way station. Nice. We're nearly there already, guys. This was a really short haul for us. Just really taking up all of this beautiful scenery out here. Don't worry, I'm still looking at the road. Stay right, and then exit right. Uh oh. Looks like I got a de detour. Exit right. Oh, somebody rolled over. Came around that corner too fast. How did they roll over that way? <laughs> I should have rolled over the other way. Finding new route. Damn. I want to take a screenshot of that actually. <laughs> Hold up a second. Let's see if we can go look at that. Oh, no, wrong thing. Let's see. I made it too far to get over there though. I gotta learn how to do like the console commands and all that stuff. Damn, bruh. Oh, he went into the guardrail, too. Oh, this guy's not having a good day. Damn, bruh. That's as far as I could go, too. Damn, bruh. <laughs> it's funny how my truck's in the background, too. All right, let's get going. What that added 74 miles? Are you kidding me? That's longer than their original thing was. I'm about to bust a U-turn on the middle of the freeway. That sucks. I guess I shouldn't have said how short this delivery was. <laughs> it just doubled in length now. There it goes. I think, what's that? Eden, I think? Oh, no. Estes. Eden is that transmission company. It's a shell fuel trailer. Man, I cannot believe this, though. This is crazy. guys we're coming around kind of fast a 
Oh. Stay right, and then exit right. Exit right. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. I'm trying to get out of 12 gear there. I was trying to go down. What's going on? Oh, I guess I wasn't hitting my button hard enough or something. That was weird. Damn, it's just a bad day for truckers. Look, this guy got pulled over. I'm in the wrong gear. I don't know, maybe this button's getting worn out. Like, I'm hitting it, but it's not shifting. Oh, buddy, he got pulled over. Oh, that's another new trailer I added, too. We gotta use that trailer. Try that one out. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. We did all of that just to avoid that one accident. Did we even pass the accident? I don't remember where it was at. Swift! <laughs> Stay right, and then exit right. Exit right. There we go, finally. This is where we're supposed to be at. Damn, I wanna try to get over, but this car is here, so I'm just gonna slow down. Sorry, cop. I would have got over, but the Camaro wouldn't let me. Welcome to Washington. I didn't realize we were going to be crossing state lines. Our customer expects delivery very soon. Please make sure you arrive on time. We got it. Got some FedEx doubles coming up. Stay right, and then exit right.
Exit right. Wait a minute. That's where the crash was at, I think. Or is that another crash? It looks like it's a different track crash, but I'm not sure. Alright, right. Kennewick has then been right. discovered. Woohoo, new place. Slow this thing down a bit as we come into town. Turn right. As we come into town. Oh, I thought I could fit. I can't fit right there. This range is killing me today. I cannot get into the proper second set of gears. I guess I'm just not hitting it hard enough though. Hey, you got the Home Depot. Go straight. Go straight. Where exactly are we dropping this off at? <laughs> the marker looks like it's almost in the middle of the street. I guess it's to the right. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Alright, we are here. It's all over now. See where they want us to put it. Looks like we gotta spin it around. Ew, that's interesting. They want us to drop it over in the dirt over there. Okay, so. Got my game plan. Let's execute. This is cool. This is kind of like a new home community. They're putting up a whole bunch of houses. This is nice. Let's actually take some of this in. Very, very cool. Uh, I didn't, wasn't paying attention to that. <laughs> that guy's just in there chilling, sitting down. Maybe he's on his break. All right, let's put on our flashers. This is going to be kind of fun. 
do we go out to the streets? I think so. Why did we just like, we could kind of just probably wiggle our way in that way, but we're not going to do that. Maybe I should get a day cab truck. It'll be a little bit easier to park, especially in tight places. But this isn't too bad. Just gotta watch out for traffic. All right, that was not what I wanted to do at all. I kind of set this up a little bit poorly, but I think I could save it. All right, let's see what we could do from in here. Just gonna stop and take a look at where I'm at. All right, basically I gotta hug it around that. It looks like concrete or whatever is on those pallets. This is a tricky part. Can't really see too well back there. I think I'm coming in okay. Don't tell me I got myself stuck. Oh, I didn't realize. And the mirror, I did not look so close to that. Too much, but maybe they'll give it to us. I'm happy with that backup, though. That was pretty good. Ah, uh, I just made it worse, though. All right, they're not gonna give it to us. We're off, but that was pretty good. We got it in the general area. Just the rear was just a little bit off, so. So we can straighten it up now. Alright, should be straight back at this point. And we got it, guys. Alright. So it took us one pull up. Not too bad. We'll shut off our flashers, shut off our lights, 
Shut off our engine. And we will get this thing unloaded. And we did excellent. So we drove 142 miles. It was, oh, excuse me, it was only supposed to be 70 miles, but that detour really pretty much doubled the trip. Took us four hours, 43 minutes, uh, 24 gallons of fuel. And I believe we were still on time. Yep, we did good. We were on time, guys. So good job, everybody. Thank you guys for riding along with me. Again, if you enjoyed today's episode, do me a favor. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button. Leave some comments down below and subscribe if you are new. So thank you so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.